Happening right now, hundreds of people in the Southwick area who lost power now starting to get it restored. 13 ABC Senna Aura with the latest. Well, Bill, it appears that the lights here are starting to flicker back on. The lights at this apartment on Brownstone started to turn back on just within the last 10 minutes or so, but the homes across the street remain in the dark. Now, seeing this progress is good news because some of the people we talked with have been out of power for almost two days. Take a listen. Cold, freezing, no power, um, no hot water to take a shower. It's like uh, Stone Age, you know what I'm saying? It's unbearable. It's a rough start to the holiday weekend for hundreds living in the Southwick neighborhood. Toledo Edison says several large transformers failed early Friday morning, causing damage to their underground system. An Edison spokesman says crews had to dig 20 feet into the ground to begin to repair the faulty lines. Initially, 3,000 people were left in the dark. We realize things can happen out of their control, but just don't keep us in the dark. Let us know and let us try to prepare for the things that's going on. Dorothy Henderson remained bundled in her coat and mittens. The temperature inside 50 degrees. Wheelchair bound, she says she can't even go upstairs because her chairlift won't work. Residents at Swan Creek Retirement Village were evacuated to a warm place. Homeowners say the timing couldn't be worse with house guests staying for the holidays. They flew me up. I picked the guy up and there's this, what I'm going to do with him. And Edison crews remain on scene as they continue to transfer the power to the new cables. Complete restoration, we're told, should be done by 8 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in South Toledo, Senna Aura, 13 ABC Action News.